fast, a dangerous and fast moving wildfire is out of control in Northern California. The Pawnee Fire is just 20 miles from where a deadly fire devastated the state's wine country last year. The new fire has destroyed a dozen structures, including 10 homes. More than 600 other buildings are at risk. Now, this fire has already burned through 7,700 acres, forcing 2,500 people to evacuate in the area. It's one of five active wildfires across California. Others are burning as far away as Colorado, New Mexico, and Texas. Mark Straussman is in Clear, Lo Clear Lake Oaks, it's called, near one evacuated community. Mark, good morning to you. Good morning. This is one of the 10 homes here inside the fire zone that burned to the ground on Saturday. For the people who live here, there's nothing to come home to, and it gets worse. They may have nothing to drive to find a new place to live. There are three vehicles on this property, all of them like this one, burned to scrap and ash. And there's still no word whether any of this fire has been contained. The Pawnee fire burned through the night. Fierce winds have pushed the flames through thousands of acres of dry Northern California brush since Saturday. As you can see behind me, it's still burning actively up in these mountains. It's just a combination of these dry fuels, the steep topography, uh, and now these winds on top of it. This is changing extremely quickly. It's still 0% contained. At least 10 homes have burned. Authorities have ordered the evacuations in the nearby community of Spring Valley, where firefighters worked furiously to protect structures, but some were still reduced to ash. Evacuees know the worst might not be over yet. It's been a very difficult 24 hours not to know if your animals are okay, or your house is okay, or your neighbors are okay. Rugged terrain has proved challenging for firefighters as they try to protect homes. Air tankers were dropping uh, thousands of gallons of retardant. Helicopters were dropping hundreds of gallons of water, all in an effort to slow the progress around these structures and to really coordinate with the crews on the ground. For many living in this area, responding to wildfires has become a devastating part of everyday life. I've been evacuated, oh, six times the last five years. This is nothing new, but this is the closest one. Another major fire is burning roughly 80 miles to the northeast. The so-called Lane Fire has also forced evacuations as it charred around 3,000 acres, threatening hundreds of structures there. And to give you a sense of this fire's heat, this is actually melted aluminum from the rims of the wheels of this car. Think about that, melted aluminum. There is uh, still uh, no sense of uh, when folks here are going to be allowed to return. The good news is, though, uh, is that the the winds are going to die down probably both today and tomorrow. Firefighters could use the help. Fire crews are making progress on the Pawnee Fire burning in Lake County. The fire is now 13,700 acres. It's 30% contained. And there's some good news for residents. Evacuees in the community of Spring Valley are back home this morning. Some road closures have also been lifted. But not everyone has a home to return to. Dennis Ogle's home, along with three others on Wolf Creek Road, did not survive the flames. Denise did not have insurance, and not by oversight. I couldn't get fire insurance when I moved here three years ago. I think it was the Rocky Fire, and nobody was giving out insurance. In all, 22 structures have burned in the Pawnee Fire. 600 remain threatened. CAL FIRE HAS PUT TOGETHER A LIST OF THE BUILDINGS THAT BURNED AND WE HAVE THE FULL LIST AND A LOT MORE COVERAGE OF THIS FIRE ON OUR NEWS APP AND ABC7NEWS.COM.